way of Sufism is to see yourself in an ocean of light. In six directions there's light in front of you, to the right of you, to the left of you, behind you, above you and below you. And that the way of meditation through their training is that you're going to be meditating from the reality of your light. So ask to be in that ocean of light and that, my Lord let me enter into that ocean of light from all these six directions and take away every darkness and every difficulty. And asking to see ourselves in that light and breathe within that light and that everything we exhale of difficulties and darkness and everything that we inhale of His Divinely grace and Divinely lights, that that breath in tafakkur and in meditation is a rahmah and a mercy of Allah's immense rahmah and grace that as soon as you breathe it in with that consciousness and every spiritual path and every spiritual master of the Naqshbandi order says, our way is based on the breath. Push that dam that if you don't understand the breath and you don't understand the principles of tariqah, it's a great loss of that power and that reality. So then you don't do things to contaminate the breath, stay away from things that would damage the breath because the breath is God's grace, Allah's immense rahmah and mercy that I blew into you of my spirit. So it means a nafas al-rahmah is a secret that Allah gave to us that is our means of sustaining ourselves in this life. As we breathe that is a gift of life, every breath is a gift of life, 24,000 some awliya say in every day. So that breath should be in a consciousness, that breath should be awakened and understood that I'm breathing from Your Divine mercy Ya Rabbi, I'm breathing from Your immense rahmah and that to see the immense blessings of that breath. If we see ourselves in that ocean of light in front of us then to be washed and cleansed. Those that have a higher understanding of the tafakkur they're asking to breathe that same breath but in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad That see ourselves at Rosa Sharif and online you can see Masjid al-Nabawi, the holy, the gate in which is blocking from the presence and the grave of Sayyidina Muhammad the Rosa Sharif that asking to see ourselves there. And that, Ya Rabbi I'm asking to breathe in this presence and to connect my heart with Sayyidina Muhammad Say, Ya Rasul Kareem, Ya Habib al Azim, unzul halana wa ishfalana wa abiduna bi madadakum wa nazarakum. That I am completely nothing, I'm nothing, I'm not asking and thinking that I'm anything. I'm not coming with my amal, my salah, my zakah, my sa'um, my nothing. I'm coming as if just a faqeer. I'm absolutely effaced in my nothingness. I'm coming just to your Rosa Mubarak, your, your, your immense blessings that Allah has dressed upon you and I'm asking just to be here under your nazar. That by your rahmah, your prayers upon me to take away difficulties, take away obstacles in my life. Those that can go higher in their understanding, they ask to be at the qadam and the foot, the holy foot of Sayyidina Muhammad our way is not based on, on the ego and thinking that it's something great but asking that I'm coming through the door, my Lord, of Your lowest servant. I'm asking to come through the door of disbelief and I have negated all my amal. If you find anything good in it, that's by Your immense rahmah. Me, I found nothing good in it. And I'm coming with absolutely nothing Ya Rabbi, let me just to keep my face and my forehead on the holy feet of Sayyidina Muhammad This is a sujood al-ihtiram, this is a respect that the angels were told to bow down to Sayyidina Adam and they bowed down to the Nur Muhammadi within Sayyidina Adam That nur that they knew from Divinely Presence it entered into this creature known as Adam. As a result of that light entering into that creation, 
their astonishment that that light is not a light that they saw in their realm. And that was Allah's rahmah that I'm creating my Khalifa and I'm setting this special light within it and the angels were told to bow down. That in tafakkur is that, Ya Rabbi I'm asking just to keep my head on His holy qadam, say, Ya Rasul Kareem, Ya Habib al Azim, don't let me to lift my head from Your holy feet. Means in my life don't let me to go left and right in different directions. Keep your holy qadam, qadam al-haqq, the, the path of truth, qadam al-sudiq and make me to be a muqaddam for these awliya Allah that I keep my way and keep their way, keep the way of the Siddiqs and Sahabi, Ahlul Bayt all the way to the way of Sayyidina Muhammad That's why on their turban they have Nalayna Paq, the, the blessed sandal of Prophet is all over their turban, all over their body because they want to be like a carpet. Just let Prophet walk on me, I'm in good shape. His feet, they're blessed feet. Allah just said, you don't even have to take your shoes off in my presence. So what can be more blessed than that and what can be a great gift for us to see is to see the feet of Sayyidina Muhammad I'm sitting and just looking for your blessed feet, keep me at your blessed feet, let my head to always be at your blessed feet, Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem. Have your mercy upon me and forgive me, forgive me. If you make the du'a, Allah inshaAllah will forgive. And so Allah, we ask to keep ourselves in that understanding and in that reality of tafakkur and contemplation and that by learning that reality amongst these shaykhs that they can bring their fires and make a like an internet connection that when you're with them, meditating with them or via internet the fires of their shaykh is flowing through become like a Wi-Fi in which you learn how to connect, ask for madad and support and their energy begin to hit you and grant you a connection in which you can begin to hear through their hearing and you begin to see with their seeing. The whole concept of the madad is that to take myself out of the equation. I'm nothing, I'm nothing. If I really believe I'm nothing then their light will begin to shine through. This is from Atiullah, Atiya Rasul, Awlul Amri Minkum. That Allah asked us to be obedient to Allah to follow the way, follow the way of Sayyidina Muhammad and follow the way of the Ulul Am. The real ulul am that are inheriting that fires from Sayyidina Muhammad and they begin to broadcast that energy out. And we are all like mobile phones. If we can connect with that energy and that's why they teach that the connection if you want it stronger have good character, have good manners. The good character and the good manners brings God's grace, Allah to be happy with us. We're talking to audiences of thousands of people most of which are not Muslim and coming towards the reality of Islam. So it means that we're not here to make people to be Arabs, we're here to teach people from our religion in words and in understandings that they understand. It means Allah's rahmah and grace is Divine grace. This Divine grace doesn't dress us with bad character. You can say you love Jesus but if you're rotten in your heart that love is wasted for you. You can say you love Sayyidina Muhammad but your heart is rotten it's wasted for you because then you truly don't love. If you really love you would have good character. Anyone with good character has a soft tongue. If that character is good Allah's grace is dressing, rahmah dressing, Allah's happy and satisfied with them. When Allah loves you and satisfied with you, He gives you actions that He will be pleased with. That's His mercy. When He says, I'm really happy with you, I really like your character, I'm happy with your character, I'm going to give you actions that match so that my creation won't be judging you because I love you. Salaamun qawlun min Rabbir Raheem, salams from me is coming upon you, I'm happy with your khuluq. I'm happy with your characteristics and your muhabbat 
And you may be weak on your actions but I'll make your actions to be strong so that my creation will be astonished at who you are. Is Allah Almighty versus the reverse way, think I'm going to do like amazing actions that God would be happy with? No. They taught us, no come with this muhabbat and love and Allah will make everything to be beautiful. Even awliyaullah Shaykh Daghestani said that Allah will make an angel and put that angel just to do amal on your behalf. And the angel will pray prayers that nobody could imagine, make du'as that nobody could imagine. And all the amal of the angel will be written upon the servant. Allah's great, you can't say, no Allah can't do that, Allah can do whatever Allah wants to do. Means don't limit Allah's majesty and grace. But all it took was good character. So with good character he came to the door and said, I'm nothing, I'm nothing, I'm truly sick of myself. I'm truly sick of my bad characteristic, my bad mouth, I agitate and aggravate. When you truly identify, La ilaha anta subhanika inni kuntu min al-dhalimeen, that glory be to God and I'm an oppressor to myself. If every day I say Ayatul Kareem and keep saying to myself, saying to myself, at some point you begin to believe I'm nothing, this world has fooled me and everybody has used me as a tool and I'm nothing, I'm nothing my Lord. If you reach that state of nothingness, Allah's rahmah and mercy begin to dress upon the heart. If I'm nothing and then they taught me how to make my madad, how to make my connection that I don't want to go for verily I walk through the valley of death and I know that I'm not alone. Every book says, for I know my Lord is with me and Allah said, of course you're with me. You're with me and I have many of the Salihin following you. I have Nabi'een watching you, Siddiqeen watching you, Salihin watching you, Shuhada watching you because I love you. So they're watching. So as soon as we make our tafakkur, I'm nothing, I'm nothing, then Allah Zibajal, Ittaqullah wa kunu ma sadiqeen. Have a consciousness and a company. My truthful servants, truthful in their deeds and in their character. As soon as you accompany them, not physically, spiritually. You don't have to always be around the shaykh, it's impossible. How can one personality be everywhere physically? But he can multiply himself through his students and his light can be everywhere. It's not something difficult. Allah's might and majesty, the reality of the soul. Everybody believes shaitan is everywhere, Rahman is more powerful. Sayyidina Muhammad is everywhere, awliya Allah are everywhere. As Salaamu Alaykum ayyuhan Nabi wa ibadullahi salihin. We say it in every prayer. We give the salams to Sayyidina Muhammad in present tense, wa ibadullahi salihin. These salihin whom are all and always with. Sayyidina Muhammad So as soon as I'm nothing, I'm making my tafakkur, I'm asking, Ya Rabbi, let me to be with <coughs> Nabi. Let me say, Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem, Habib al Azim, I don't need to see, I'm nothing, I'm no one. Ya Ibadullah Saliheen, please keep your nazar upon me, I'm a weak servant. As Allah gave you gifts and blessings, look upon me with your pity. If you are sincerely asking and sincerely asking, Allah begin to open a khashif in your heart, that your heart will begin to see that they're right there in front of you. And you see with the eye of your iman, not the eye of your physical eyes, but with your faith you see that they're there and present with you. And say, Ya Ibadullah Salihin, I'm nothing, I'm nothing, make a madad, read the madad of the shaykhs that I'm nothing and that they're watching me that dress me and bless me with your fires. Worshipness is only for Allah But Allah's order was what? Wa kunu ma sadiqin, keep the company of the sadiq. Itasimu bi habdillah, don't, don't, don't break away, hold tight to the rope of Allah So as soon as they're holding, is spiritual is more important than physical. So they see themselves in that presence, they're asking to be nothing, they dress your fires and your light upon me and they begin to feel the light and the energy that is dressing them and blessing them. 
and their whole life was about that connection. As much as you learn to be dressed and blessed by this reality, as much as you begin to make your faith to be real. Islam is not dried fruits and it's not a fake wax fruit. You should be feeling the Islam and the ocean of iman is immense power. Means from every direction when they're breathing, they're breathing energy. From every direction Allah is sending into the heart, everything is alive and everything has a zikr, everything has a fragrance. This maqam al-iman is an immense opening from Allah it's not plastic fruit. There's so much that has to be opened but it opens only through the door of tafakkur. It's the door of the soul. When Allah says, enter the house through the proper door, it's the door of the soul for malakut. You have to connect with your soul that I'm nothing that my shaykh is in front of me. I'm nothing and my shaykh Faiz is beginning to dress me. This becomes an encrypted channel through spiritual connections and that's what's important. Is that you're not going to take your faith from television and you're not going to take your coordinates from television. That you're going to see through the darkness of this material world through the eye of your heart and through the eyes of faith. As soon as you begin to meditate and contemplate these lights and these energies can begin to dress the heart bless the heart and send lights and coordinates to the heart so that in the midst of darkness you're in an ocean of light and you don't feel the darkness and the sadness. You feel yourself to be guided and that's what Allah is talking about. Those whom are guided are truly guided. Those who have been granted a light have been granted a light and none can receive the light except that is granted by that light. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from the realities of tafakkur and muraqaba. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, Join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.